So we are back with another unboxing of some lingerie that we have for y'all in the studio. I am obsessed with stripes. I'm obsessed with straps too. Obsessed with straps and obsessed with stripes. That'd be a hard thing to say three times. All right, so this one right here is a 38B. It's very molded right here. So what it would do is it's gonna take your boobs and it's gonna push them, push them that way so that you will have a more cleavage. And I really, I really like the idea of this with a black underbust corset with it cinched real tight in the middle with maybe black pantyhose that have stripes on them with a top hat and a cane. It's just what I see when I look at this. Uh, this I got because I need more color inside the studio. I have a lot of black, red, and pink. I want to get more colors because a lot of ladies would like to come in and wear their husbands or their um, girlfriends or you know whatever, whoever your person, you know. So with these, I really like this with the long lace that goes right here. I like that. I just think it's delicate and it's very sweet. Also gives you when you're wearing it, you could pull on it and play with it a little bit, you know. So, and I like that it's that it's see-through. The only problem with color is is at the studio, you must wear underwear underneath any of our client closet items. So this you would probably have to wear nude. When you're buying nude underwear for your session, be sure to be getting the nude color that is closest to your skin color so it's not uh, distracting from your shoot. That's, that's a, a big tip to have. Uh, this is a new bodysuit because I love my bodysuits and it's a decent size too. I'd probably say it's a large. I'm an extra large so as you can see it would just almost fit me but not gonna. It's hard to find anything to fit my bust. So I really like this. I love the, the edges on the side. It would be beautiful. You'll have to wear black thongs with it. Uh, this would be gorgeous against white like my white bedding set. It would be beautiful. It would be beautiful here on this couch. You can see it, right? You get the idea? It's, it's, and it's, it's a decent size too, so that's always good. This one I love, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna deconstruct it a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these straps off and I'm going to make it off the shoulder so that when you wear it, it will be like this or maybe like this. And the way that I see this, of course, you could wear white bra and white underwear underneath this, but what I think would be beautiful is to do this with nothing underneath it because then that way you're being nude without being nude and you have something to play with. It can be like this and it's falling down your shoulder. I also see this with a white bathing suit uh, underneath it and in the water somewhere, uh, like crashing up against the waves and the sand and laying down in the sand and rolling around in the sand. It's just what I see when I think about it, though it's getting ready to be winter, so probably will not be happening anytime soon. I also see this maybe um, with green grass some somewhere out in the woods. I just love white lingerie out in the wilderness, out in the nature. I just think it's it's beautiful, you know? So that's all that we have. Uh, and I got little white underwears to go with it, but again, like I said, you would have to wear white thongs underneath it. Uh, huge tip, bring black, white, and nude thongs to your boudoir session, whether it's with me or anybody else. If they have a client closet, they will probably require you to wear thongs underneath your garments that you that that is theirs. Uh, that's just hygienic. It's better. It's not going to cost you a lot. Now, if you're not planning on wearing anything white, then don't worry about it. Black and nude, though, I mean, you can always use those. You need those with a little black dress, nude thongs you need, you know, at some point in your life you'll need them again, so it's not going to be a huge waste of money to have. Uh, that's going to be it for us today. I will be back with some new videos here very shortly. I've got a ton that I have to edit. I just, I also shoot weddings, so I have editing um, that I have to get done first, but uh, I hope to be having videos like this 
about the studio, about boudoir, behind the scenes of a shooting more regularly. I'm just, I'm still learning. So hit the subscribe button and I will be back soon. Y'all have a great day.